Hi boys and girls, I'm back and it's time for language arts. Today I didn't plan any phonics worksheets for you. I thought we'd take a I thought we'd take a rest from that since it's Monday and nobody really wants to work hard on Monday, but we still need to practice letters and sounds. So I took a stack of letter cards and I mixed them up and mixed them up. We are going to look at them. We're going to say the letter name and then the sound. Help me do it. The letter is S. The sound is S. The letter is Z. The sound is Z. The letter is E. The sound is A. The letter is B. The sound is B. The letter is L. The sound is L. The letter is R. The sound is R. The letter is P. The sound is P. The letter is F. The sound is F. Next one, Miss Wall. The letter is K. The sound is K. The letter is H. The sound is H. The letter is J. The sound is J. The letter is X. The sound is X. The letter is U. The sound is U. Uh, like U. Uh, getting punched in the stomach. The letter is A. The sound is A. Uh. The letter is O. The sound is A. Uh. The letter is I. The sound is I. The letter is Y. The sound is Y. The letter is M. The sound is M. The letter is Q. The sound is Q. The letter is G. The sound is G. The letter is C, the sound is K. The letter is T, the sound is T. The letter is V, the sound is V. Are you getting all these? The letter is B, the sound is B. The letter is W, the sound is W. The letter is N, the sound is N. Mmm, good practice. Okay, today I'm going to read you a story. It's one of my favorite stories, too. It's called The Little Red Hen. And maybe you've heard the story of The Little Red Hen before, but there she is, The Little Red Hen. This is the front of the book, and this is the back of the book. The Little Red Hen is something called a folk tale. So it's a story from a long, long time ago, but people retell this story over and over again. And this version is told by Byron Barton. On the front of the book, I see the little red hen. And in this story, the little red hen has some chicks too. Can you see how many chicks she has? If you said three, you're right. On the back, she has three friends. Look at her friends. Okay, here we go. The Little Red Hen by Byron Barton. Boy, the Little Red Hen has a nice house. It looks like she lives on a farm. The Little Red Hen. Once there were four friends. A pig, a duck, a cat, and a little red hen. The little red hen had three chicks. You see them? One day, the little red hen was pecking in the ground and she saw some seeds. Hmm. She went to her three friends and asked, who will help me plant these seeds? Not I, squealed the pig. Not I, quacked the duck. Not I, meowed the cat. That's not very nice. They don't look like they're very busy. 
Then I will plant the seed, said the little red hen, and she did. And the seed sprouted and grew into large stalks of wheat. Then the little red hen asked her three friends, who will help me cut these stalks of wheat? Not I, meowed the cat. Not I, squealed the pig. Not I, quacked the duck. Hmm. Then I will cut the wheat, said the little red hen, and she did. She cut the wheat all by herself. She's very hard working. I need to check and see what these guys were doing on the other page. Oh, look, they're just riding around in a cart with an umbrella having fun. Hmm. Then the little red hen asked her friends, who will help me thresh this wheat? Not I, squealed the pig. Not I, quacked the duck. Not I, meowed the cat. They're just playing on the swings. They don't want to help. Then I will thresh the wheat, said the little red hen, and she did. So when you thresh wheat, you beat it so that you get um, all the seeds out and, or, or the kernels, and you can grind them into flour to bake bread and cookies and things like that. Then the little red hen asked her friends, will help me grind these grains of wheat into flour? Not I, squealed the pig. Not I, quacked the duck. Not I, meowed the cat. Then I will grind the wheat into flour, said the little red hen, and she did. Then the little red hen asked her three friends, who will help me make this flour into bread? Not I, meowed the cat. Not I, squealed the pig. Not I, quacked the duck. Are they busy? What are they doing? They're sleeping. They're not too busy to help, but they don't want to help. Then I will make the flour into bread, she said, and she did. Then the little red hen called to her friends, who will help me eat this bread? I will, quacked the duck. I will, meowed the cat. I will, squealed the pig. Do you think she's going to share? I don't know, would you share? Oh no, said the little red hen. We will eat the bread. <gasps> So she and her three little chicks ate the bread and they didn't share it. The little red hen, and they did, the little red hen and her three little chicks. Well, those friends weren't really very good friends, were they? I don't blame her for not helping, for not sharing rather. Um, I do blame those um, animals for not helping though. They weren't doing anything but playing. So right now, when you um, go into your journal, if you wanna write about the little red hen, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a little red hen. Are you ready for this? Okay, I'm just gonna drop this down a little. And here we go. If you can draw a half circle, and I will show you how. Just do a line first, a straight line and then make it like a half a circle right there. Okay, then right here, draw a whole circle. Is that looking a little bit like a, like a hen? You might say, mm, I don't know about that, Miss Wall. Well, little hens have beaks, so let's give the little red hen a beak, just like that. We're gonna give her a little comb on top and then an eye just like that and then some tail feathers just like that I'm gonna give her a little wing on the side and some feet there we go 
Ah, you've got a little red hen. Whoops, I need to drop this a bit so you can see my whole hen. There she is. And she's a little red hen, so you can color her in red. I can write the words red hen, too. Red hen. Hen. Fantastic. Red hen. Okay, so you can uh, put the red hen in your journal and you can write a little bit about it and then you're going to come back to me um, a little bit later and I'm going to teach you how to do a little red hen, um, sorry, a little red hen folding project. All right, see you soon. Bye.